do it for the kids. How y'all doing tonight? Good. All right, y'all. So before we get into our lesson, I want to ask y'all, what do y'all do Monday through Friday? School work, School work, video games. Okay. And more work. And more work, huh? Yeah. And writing too. Yeah. And writing too. Oh, and we eat. Y'all don't eat. We, we do. We eat. Mm -hmm. Y'all sleep. We yes. sleep. And you wake yeah. up and you eat again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we eat breakfast. Pretty busy schedule, huh? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so today we're going to be talking about the fourth commandment. And the fourth commandment you can actually find in Exodus 20. It says, remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. Now, most people, especially in our country, we choose Sunday, which is the first day of the week. But there are some people actually within this country that choose some Saturdays. But we intentionally use a Sunday to be our Sabbath. And now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean to just not work and it doesn't mean to just abstain or to stay away from intentional evil but it really means to take that time that you usually would spend doing something else but to use that time to spend with God now is that the only day that we need to live holy no okay if you're a Christian all days you will live holy amen right because holiness is what a, a lifestyle. lifestyle holiness is a lifestyle not just a thing we do right it's who we are what are some ways we can spend time with God pray okay pray all right tally go to church I like how you just raise your hand straight up in class huh uh -huh, going to church okay well yeah that that's good and that's a way we can spend time with God and that's actually and that's good and that's for us not for him but it's actually for us but that is a time to spend that is a way we can spend time with God okay but like intentionally within our own household or within our uh, within our own family mm, okay read the Bible, read the Bible. That's what I was gonna okay say. read the Bible okay and y'all already said prayer right Oh. Okay, basically just talking to God, right? All right. And what about listening to songs that remind you of his goodness or remind you of his sovereignty, remind you of who he is? Like, is that spending time with God? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's another way to spend that's time with God as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Christian hip hop is awesome. That's an awesome way as well. So I think we need to just be very intentional with our spending time with God. When I begin to think about my day, like what do I have to do? I go to work, I cook, I take care of y'all. Well, me and your mama, we take care of y'all. You know, I have a wife, which is y'all mama. Um, you know, I, we have work that we need to do around the house. We have the YouTube channel that we run. And then, you know, we don't really have sports right now, but when sports were actually going on, you know, you would spend time looking at sports and things like that too. So with everything that I just mentioned, that takes up a whole lot of time. Going back to Exodus with God knowing that people got caught up with the busyness of life, he chose to ask them for a day. Now we're New Testament believers. Like the commandments were good practices to keep until God, until Jesus came to fulfill the law and give us new liberties while still honoring God at the same time. So when you look at the fourth commandment, is it a requirement to be saved? No. No, it's not. Does it hurt anything to put it into practice? No. no. The main thing you have to remember to get at the heart of this commandment is that God cherishes and desires fellowship with us. Now, when you think about it, what an honor it is that God thinks enough of us to want time with us. You can see his love for us all throughout the Bible. And even in times where he shows his wrath towards us, that's still love towards us. God has, is, and will always be the priority already within the king household now look y'all we that christian fam that christian fam is not just a youtube name for us y'all know that we are a christian family right and people actually know us not just in the street but also in church like they really know okay that really is that christian fam like they even make jokes about us talking about well y'all look like that family on the back of the church fans and all that stuff but listen that's not our goal that's not what we aim to be like or look like we 
aim to be pleasing in the sight of God. Like we really want to walk this thing out as a Christian family because we are that Christian fam. And our goal and our mission, especially with our YouTube channel and other efforts is to show people that it is still possible to live a life that's pleasing in the sight of God in 2020. Y'all have already chosen to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. And we're so grateful for that. But one day y'all gonna be grown out the house with your own families. And nothing will please us more than to know that you still make Jesus Christ the center of your attention. You still make him the number one priority for your family. So the big takeaway from this is what? What does God desire? Fellowship with us. Exactly. He desires time with us. He wants our attention. He wants a relationship with us. Thanks for watching. The next video will be on the gut-wrenching lows of life. We drop videos every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell because for the first half hour, we're responding to comments immediately. I hope I help somebody on the other side of this video. If you offend it, I really don't care. And I got a whole video entitled Why I Don't Care, explaining why I say that down in the description. This is Jermaine from That Christian Fam, aka The King's Realm, where we shape our worldview around God's reality. That's, That's a wrap! Ramen noodles in my cup, yeah, yeah. Cook it up. She like to take it